Paul's I'm the oldest. oldest. I look, don't look that boy. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, then me, then, then me. I still got hair. No, no, no. <laughs> When I heard that, I mean, Amanda sent that email through, I felt even older than I am now. <laughs> um, I'm pretty proud of something the three of us have achieved for 81 years. So it's something to, I know not a lot of people can say that about their family, I guess, for serving Queensland. Yeah, I'm the same. It's um, when you look at what you've, you've done yourself and you look at your, the years you've got in the service, you, you sort of look at it, but you don't look at it in a whole. And when, when we got this and found out how much service we'd all put in for the state, I think it's it is something to be proud of. I know just through the policing, there's a lot of police families who, you know, generations seem to stay within the police, but it's, I don't think I've ever seen it where the brothers have all covered all three emergency services. So, yeah, I think it's something we should all be proud of. And I, I, think, it's, um, I, think, it's, I think the state owes us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> no, look, I, I didn't realise that time of service, but I, you know, I, the first thing I think of is I know that, that Dad would be proud. Mm. If he was uh, still with us, so I know he, um, the three boys were everything to him, and uh, um, I think he'd be sitting up there, very proud and chuffed to the fact that we've what we've what we've achieved. Mum's um, mum's very proud. She starts most of her conversations about what the three boys do, don't she, with people? So I'm okay, always same. first. Yeah, you are. Always. I'm a bit surprised <laughs> we ended up here because she's a panicker. Anything <laughs> emergency, it's just oh, yeah. she's gone. So I don't know how we all ended up here, but anyway. No, it's interesting that we have chosen three three different services, but uh, it certainly makes Christmas parties and family reunions uh, far more interesting. We have that banter around who has the best job, who has the best role in the community. Clearly, it's me, and I win all those arguments. <laughs> but um, but no, it is. It, look, yeah, I think uh, I think it's, even though it's different services, we're all there for the same reason, and uh, and that's what makes it makes it more important and more fun around the, the banter. Um, there is the respect across the agencies. You know, each one plays a role in, in every incident we go to, every deployment, every disaster. So it's important. It's just fun when we get around each other to have, yeah. a, have a laugh and and pull the banter out of each other. To be honest, it was my third choice on uh, on work experience on the piece of paper that we had to fill out. So I never really thought about it until. No, actually, it wasn't. <laughs> Is now though. Oh God, yeah. yeah I, I wish I had it. No. <laughs> So then, then we get back downstairs and there was a young lady come out from the local media, um, from the newspapers, I think yeah, she was. was. And she says, oh, can I speak to whoever's in charge to get a bit of a take on what's going on? And so, of course, the fire has gone straight over and I've gone to her and said, what makes you think he's in charge? And she sort of, she all looked at me and she didn't know what to do. I said, hang on, I'll sort this out. I said, I'll ring mum. <laughs> <laughs> and this poor girl is just looking at us like we're lunatics. <laughs> but he's still got the interview. <laughs> It's a great career. It's challenging. You're going to have the ups and downs, but uh, the good side of it is that there's variety in every day, um, and the fact that you're out there helping people when they're at their, their most worst point, and uh, that's that's the best thing about all the jobs we have is when we're out there working, people they're having their worst day in their life, and we get to we get to hopefully change that and influence that. We deal with people in critical moments of their lives pretty much, um, and it's nice some days to walk away and have good outcomes. Other days there's not so good outcomes, so you've got to be able to manage that, I guess. Um, sort of you got to know that as long as you give your best, there's not much else you can do. It's been a great career for me. I'm, I've got to retire when I turn 60. If I didn't have to retire, I'd stay on. I, I enjoy what I do. Um, same thing, we have a lot of variety. And within the police, because of the size of it, there's that many avenues you can branch off into different things. You know, you do your, your, your first stint in general duties, but after that, there's um, multi multiple roles you can go to and, and get fulfilment out of. So it's still a good career and the people you work with is what makes it and you know that's that's a benefit of it. <laughs>